So in this video, we're going to be looking at a review of a relatively new SERP analyzer tool called Through. So today I'm joined with Samuel, who's the creator of this tool. So Samuel, do you want to just share your screen and talk us about this tool that you've got and why it might be something for people to look out for when they're looking to analyze the SERPs? Yeah, hi everyone, and thanks Intamar to have me to having me in this video. So sure, I will share my screen with you now and we can have a look at through together. All right, so this is the dashboard of through. So when you log in and after creating an account, you will uh, arrive on this screen. So through is quite simple. So the, the goal of through is to scrape the SERP, right? So if you want to scrape the SERP, just click on the scrape uh, button here. And then now you have a new screen. You can enter your keyword. Let's say how to write for SEO. Okay, I want to create an article and I want to see on the SERP um, what all the articles are doing, what are the contents, etc. Also, you can here open the filter view and select your country. So if you want to, I don't know, uh, scrape the UK SERP or the French one, you can be more precise by uh, having a location. You can also select your search engine here and as well the, the, the language for sure and the number of uh, pages or results you want to, to scrape. You can select if you want to uh, scrape the desktop SERP or the mobile one. And as well, you can, uh, if you click uh, this box, um, I will also analyze the page performance and all the data related to core web vitals. I won't do it right now because it will take more time, but I have an example as well that's already ready and we can have a look later. Also, if you like, if you do often the same uh, search, you can as well save filter here. But let's go. Okay, so I want to uh, scrape the US SERP for all to write for SEO. So now I just click on scrape the SERP. So now what's going on through is going uh, on the Google page and it will fetch all the results, go through all the pages, one after the other, extract uh, on page information like title, meta information, description, and more. And now you have uh, the result. So first, what you can see here is an overview of the SERP. Uh, number of results. If there is some uh, SERP feature, like on this one, there is no knowledge graph, no answer box, no feature snippet, no FAQ. So I, I get, um, already here, you can get a kind of insights. Okay, maybe if I want to rank for this keyword, there is some opportunity as well to create a FAQ on my page. You can see already an average of words. So I go through all the articles and I uh, do, I, I count the number of words and here you can see the average of words. So also good indication for you uh, to see the number of words you should write to be, uh, let's say, to be competitive against the other article. The same for the images. And also here you can see how fresh is the SERP. Uh, I explain here, I, I, I show uh, when was the last update uh, done and also how old uh, are the pages on this SERP. All the data are also available in an Excel file, but we won't download it right now. So I scroll down and now you have um, another view. So you can see all the results here. So this is basically the result from uh, the Google search. So all the pages. And what is nice is when you, when you click on one page, so then it opens a panel and you can see more, or you can see basically the on page information. So the meta title, the meta description, some page information, number of words, images, when it was published last time, uh, sorry, when it was published, when it was updated, etc. And as well, uh, I'm creating a table of content based on all the headings found on the page. So you can open any pages here, you can Basically, it's, 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 it's a nice view if you want to have a quick overview of the SERP and of uh, the page uh, information. As well, what you can see here, I display directly some tags or label that tell you which one was the last updated. So this one from, uh, from Backlinko is the last page uh, updated on the SERP. So you can have a look, maybe it did something new. So you can get some inspiration here. You can also see which one is the longest one, uh, etc. There is some filtering uh, available, so you can display only the organic page or only the organic results. So it includes as well the questions, related search and, and other. And then you can sort if you want to directly see uh, which one uh, is the longest one. So I sort by word count, 
and now I will see. Okay, so the longest one is this one, then the second longest is that one. Okay, then well, we can move on. So here you have all the results. Uh, so I have two view, the car view and the table view. The table view is a bit more technical. Uh, it has been asked by, uh, by some of the users. They want really to see directly the number of words, images, publication date, the uh, number of uh, language used on the page, or not on the page, but the number of uh, variation of, uh, of a page in different language, and also number of links, and if it has schema uh, or not. So here you can directly also uh, quickly uh, sort the, the, the view to see, okay, um, what you should do and what your competition is doing. Then we can move on. And here in the title tab, I have a side-by-side -side, uh, comparison of the titles. So when you prepare your article, you can also directly get an understanding of how and uh, what, how people phrase the, uh, the title. And here you have also some keywords, frequencies, focus on titles. The same for the heading one. So heading one are also important parts of page. And here I also uh, display them side by side. And you can also have the keyword frequency for the heading one. The same for heading two. Uh, heading two, so here's a bit different. Um, I group them. Uh, so here in section one, I have all the first heading two of every pages. In, in section two, I display all every heading two, uh, every second heading two of every pages. So here also the idea is to get an understanding of how pages are organized, what people say first. So here you can see that usually the, the, ask the, the first topic is often what is SEO, what is SEO content, then why maybe understanding. So you can really understand a bit already how you can or, or how you should organize your article. Here the number of sections in average. I didn't yet do uh, any keyword analysis on this part, but it will come soon. Description as well. Also here, interesting view because here what I'm doing, I'm showing all the description of the pages and I compare what Google, so SERP means what Google display to the user and meta means what you as the editor or, or uh, you enter in the meta description. And you know that Google is often re rewriting uh, description. And so you can see when there is, uh, for instance, if there is 100% match, there is none, none here, but when there is 100% match means that Google didn't do any uh, uh, rewrite. And here you can see that Google rewrote a lot. So it also can give you an understanding of what is intent uh, on this search, because often Google wants to, yes, uh, of course, deliver the best uh, information to its users. So again, interesting information for you uh, when you create your article and when you create all your uh, uh, meta information. And also here I have some keyword frequency for the um, for the description in Google. So on SERP, this is the one on SERP. And here's the keyword frequency for the meta. So it's more, this one is for the on page. All right, then I also display other SERP features. So here's related search. I got also all the questions. And of course, if there is more, for instance, I was some, some uh, SERPs have local packs, some as uh, videos, news. Uh, for the news, I also scrape each individual news. So based on your search, you will have more tabs here and you will have more information. But more or less, the idea is always the same. Um, you have in one simple click, you can get uh, uh, information about the surf. And if you click on download, you will get an Excel file with all this data and even with more data because, yeah, to keep the interface simple, I didn't uh, push uh, or, or display everything. Another thing I would like to show you is when you what happened when you click on the inkling page performance. So I already run uh, a, 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 an analysis before. So here is a French one. I wanted to check a bit how banks in France are, let's say, good regarding performance of, of, of the page and of the website. So here is the same result you can see, but there is a new tab called performance. So when you go on this tab, then you can see all the banks. I will filter them by, uh, by order. So all the, all the banks in France, when you type open an account and you can see uh, the performance. So this is data coming from the page, uh, from sorry, from Lighthouse. So from a page, uh, Google, what's the name exactly? PSI, page speed uh, uh, insights, I think. So information from the Google API. 
and as well uh, information about the, so the Chrome user experience. So this this one are really important for if you want to improve for the core web vitals. You have to check at, you have to check this one. So here you can get an understanding of how the SERP is good against the page performance and the page experience. And also, if you can see you maybe also here, you can understand or can see if there is some opportunities for you to improve your page or not. Um, yeah, and also, so this is the performance uh, tab. And then also when you go on each individual result here, you will see as well uh, information about the page speed insights and uh, uh, the Chrome U UX uh, report. Uh, yes, so finally, so if you click here, you can go on the, on the menu. The menu is not really, uh, let's say, extensive at the moment. It's quite simple. You can open the, 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 the scrape or the scraper, and also you can check at your history. So quite cool if you want to uh, go back and see what you have scraped yesterday on last week, you can compare. You can see, um, yes, you can see how the scrape looked like in the past and keep your history. Being able to scrape a SERP just the way that you showed kind of gets people a much quicker way to be able to get this information. So if they do want to check out, for example, the number of words they might want to use, they want to see the differences in performance for the different websites that are ranking for that particular query. I think that's that's really, really important for people to see quickly and analyze and then it gives them ideas. So I want to ask what are the kind of future plans that you have for through in terms of new features and that kind of stuff? Yeah, so the future plan uh, are, uh, of course, uh, analyzing more data or sc scraping first more data. So my focus first was really on uh, on getting data about, uh, about all the page. So uh, getting more and more on page information. And now the second step will be to provide a more analysis, also to give insights about how the SERP, what is um, the SERP, let's say, um, um, uh, setup. I don't know if it's correct term, but you know, I want to know uh, if articles are more a blog or a, a cluster, or if more product uh, information. You know, I want to understand more about the user intent. So really understanding the SERP feature and making already a kind of uh, yeah analysis of the of the intent. So the next feature will be go more in the direction of, of analyzing. So giving already more insights to the user, because as you can see right now, I did a lot of analysis by myself. And the next step will be really to, to offer more that. So about pricing, so um, it's quite simple. I mean, um, I, I it, you, you can scrape basically every month for free, uh, 10, 10 times, so 10 scrape. One scrape is one credit. So I'm offering you that. So every month, go on the tool. It's free. If you have, if you, don't, if you don't need to scrape a lot, it's fine. Then, if you need more, if you need to scrape more, I will uh, offer a way to to get more credits. So you can buy package. So it's not a subscription. It's more pay as you go. Um, and then you can see here, uh, based on the number of credit you want, more credit you take, uh, cheaper once scrape will be. So it's, it's between uh, uh, there is package starting at 10 euro and the most expensive one is 50 euro. Of course, you can uh, buy two, three, two, four times um, the, the package uh, with uh, 500 credits. It's fine. And I will appreciate that. But uh, yeah, so this is uh, the pricing list. Uh, I, guess it's, I guess it's quite simple, right? What do you think? Yeah, I think it's quite simple. I think, you know, there's certain people who might you know they might have a few clients and they're trying to work on a content strategy and they need to you know scrape certain amounts of um, times for for research and stuff like that but i think you know for a, a pay as you go method is quite nice it's quite different i think compared to other sort of seo tools out there um there's not really many that offer a kind of pay as you go kind of get, get as many credits as you need kind of uh, way of doing it so you know i think the pricing's very fair uh, for, for what it can do and plus you know you're giving people the chance to access it as well for free if they do 10 every month so they can uh, play around with it and and have a look but so wh when do you plan to get this tool live to the public so very soon uh, on Thursday 18 of February okay great yeah so Samuel thanks so much for for kind of giving a, a kind of demo and and you know based on what you've shown kind of reviewing the different functionality of through 
and let me know in the comments below what you think uh, definitely go on the site there'll be a link in the description um check it out and leave your thoughts below uh because yeah definitely a lot of hard work has been put into this and i really appreciate you uh coming on to to demo and review uh through so thanks a lot samuel thank you itamar and uh let's crave the sap hey You've reached the end of this video, but don't worry, there's plenty more great content that you can watch right now. All you have to do is click one of the two video links on the left side of the screen. And also, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to never miss out on future uploads.